In this video, we're going to configure an Android mobile phone so that it can connect to a VPN server that we have already installed onto our Synology NAS. As the VPN server installed onto our NAS was configured using L2TP IPsec, configuring an Android handset to use our VPN connection is going to be a fairly easy task. If we first select Settings, and then from within Settings locate and select Network and Internet, if we open the VPN panel, we are presented with a list of any VPN connections that we currently have installed on our phone. As we currently have no VPN connections listed, let's select the Add icon. After selecting Add, we need to give our VPN connection a meaningful name. Next, from the Type drop-down menu, we need to select the option L2TP IPsec PSK. In the server address field, we can either enter the static IP address of our home broadband connection or our domain name. If like us, you do not own a static public IP address, but have configured your Synology NAS to use DDNS, you will only be able to use the domain name that was assigned to you by your DDNS service. The options L2TP Secret and IPsec Identifier we will leave blank. However, in the IPsec pre-share key field, we need to enter the pre-share key that we've already set in VPN server on our NAS. As we have no need to access the advanced options, we will leave show advanced options unticked. Next in the username field, we're going to enter the account name for a user who is authorized to connect to our VPN server. Finally, in the password field, if we enter the user's password now, when a user tries to access our VPN connection, they will not be prompted for a password in order to connect to our VPN server. So for an added layer of security, we could leave the password field blank. After entering all the details for our VPN connection, we can select Save so that our connection is listed in the VPN panel. Before we test our new VPN connection, Let's open Chrome and run a Google search for the term, what is my IP address? In the results, we're shown the IP address that our Android handset is currently using to connect to the internet. We will be coming back to this page later to demonstrate that our mobile phone is using the VPN connection that we're about to test. If we return to settings and once again open the VPN panel, we can see our VPN connections listed. In order to initiate our VPN connection, if we select our connection from the list, we are prompted to enter a username and password. However, as our VPN connection already has this information, we will simply select Connect. Our mobile phone will now try and establish a connection to the VPN server on our Synology NAS. While the status of our connection is being displayed, on this version of Android, a key icon is also placed in the status bar to signify that we have a VPN connection. If we now reopen our Chrome browser and refresh this page, because the IP address has changed to the one that is being used by our home network, we now know that our VPN connection is working correctly. To disconnect from our VPN server, if we return to settings, and once again open the VPN panel. When we select our VPN connection, we can see more information about our current VPN session. By selecting Disconnect, we are disconnected from our VPN server. If we return to our Chrome browser and refresh this page, as we are no longer connected to our VPN connection, our IP address has once again changed to display an IP address that has been provided by our mobile phone carrier.